Hello my darlings and welcome. In this video I design and create a watercolor goddess greeting card and chat about the concepts and archetypes of the divine feminine and ways to incorporate it into daily life. Let's do some magical crafting. Thank you for joining me as I create this card. If you enjoy my watercolor and art witch content, kindly leave a like on this video. I'll leave links to all of the materials I use in this project in the description below. I'll be making this card available on Patreon. If you'd like to download a PDF of this printable card, please visit Magical Crafting on Patreon at the link below the video. My patrons can download recipes, book of shadows pages, artwork, and more, all provided as PDFs, and I continue to add new downloadable content as I do more projects on the channel. This month, I'm making a goddess-themed greeting card for my patrons. This is not any particular goddess, rather, I followed my intuition as I drew this figure with no clear plan ahead of time. I discuss my process for creating the card as I talk about the Divine Feminine Archetype and eight ways that you may wish to incorporate it into your daily routine as I go. I started by creating a pencil sketch. Kindly overlook my obvious errors in anatomy as I'm not a classically trained artist. I'm self-taught and I find drawing people extremely difficult. This card is my third attempt at filming this video. As the inspirational quote says, done is better than perfect. I ink the drawing with waterproof micron pens and erase the pencil lines. Once the design is inked, it's time to go in with watercolor paint. I begin with the yellow moons, then move on to the blue and aqua dress and sky, and then onto her purple skin and brown hair. I let each layer of watercolor dry completely before moving on to the next color to prevent bleeding of touching colors. The Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine are archetypical representations of energies within all of us. Embracing the qualities of one or the other too completely can leave you feeling out of balance. It's a personal journey for each of us to find their own happy balance between these energies to create a fulfilling and joyful life. Goddess energy encompasses so many elements, but in its simplest form, it's a level of awareness linked to the divine feminine spirit. It's devoid of ego, judgment, or harm, and deeply tied to nature, mysticism, wisdom, intuition, purity, and matters of the heart. In a society that values action, strength, and power, Many of us may find benefit in tapping into a, a divine feminine power and taking from it what you need to grow and thrive. Feminine energy may show up as dance, creating art, loving others, and enjoying life. This is by no means a comprehensive list, but here are some of the qualities generally assigned to the divine feminine. Intuitive, heart-centered, compassionate, wisdom, acceptance and receiving, forgiveness and letting go, collaboration, reflection, creation and creativity, inspiration, dreaming, enjoyment and relaxation, community and home, healing, sensuality, and kindness. Here are eight ways you may wish to incorporate divine feminine energy into your daily life. 
give back to your community. If you have the sense that you'd like to share your knowledge or resources in some way, giving back to the community through volunteering or donating can be a way to connect with the community-driven portion of the Divine Feminine. This can take any form that inspires you. There's no one way to support your community. Donate books to the library, work in a community garden, donate clothes or toiletries to a women's shelter, donate time as a volunteer to help or teach people. There are hundreds of ways to strengthen your community. Empower Women Celebrate the strengths and accomplishments of the women in your life. Lift up women using whatever power or influence you have, whether that be through teaching, mentoring, inspiring, or offering support in hundreds of other ways. Reclaim rest. Resist the inclination to achieve more, do more, or get more. Set aside some time to allow yourself to simply be and mindfully do less. Embrace moments of silence, meditation, and solitude. Allow yourself time to rest. Embrace sensuality. Divine feminine energy embraces all things sensual. Not necessarily to be confused with sexuality. Sensuality is all about physical pleasure. This can take the form of textures, pleasing sights and aesthetics, pleasant scents and flavors, and many activities associated with self-care. Light a favorite candle, cook a fragrant meal, and let the smells and tastes envelop your senses. Take some time for reflection. Reflection and going within is a big part of divine feminine energy. Finding moments of solitude to reflect, meditating or journaling can be ways to reflect. Journaling can help you look within while tapping into your creativity, another quality of the Divine Feminine. Practice Self-Love Self-love sometimes gets confused with self-care, but it's something different. A very deep way to embrace the Divine Feminine is to practice self-love, which is loving yourself as you are instead of as you think you should be. A big part of this process is self-compassion. Practice appreciating yourself as you are now in this moment, appreciating where you are today and how far you've come. You will grow and change over time, but keep your focus in the present. Dream work. You may wish to do dream work. Interpreting your dreams can be a great way to get in touch with your Divine Feminine because it's a means of reflecting on your inner world. Dreams often have symbolism that connects with things that you're working through in life, and surprising synchronicities and messages can pop up. This can be a practice that encourages you to trust your intuition. Tap into your intuition. Tapping into your intuition is a great way to connect to your own feminine energy. It's about getting quiet with yourself and not looking outward for information, but rather receiving it from within yourself. One way to practice following your intuition is to listen to the subtle messages your body sends you. This can be called trusting your gut, but it's also more than that. Your heart can tell you the truth. Your body can send you signals in many ways. Check in with yourself when making decisions. Do you feel anxious, excited, nauseous, or elated? Trust your intuition. Don't say yes when you really mean no. Don't suppress what you truly desire because your logical or rational side tells you it's impossible. You can never know what's possible unless you honor your intuition and reach for the thing it tells you to go after.
Once all of the painting is done and completely dry, I go back in with more waterproof fine liner pens and darken the lines and add more sketching on top of the paint. The next step is to add details with white gel pen. I'm adding a white star pattern to her face and skin, as well as stars all throughout the night sky. Then I add some white glow around the moons. Once I was happy with the artwork, the next step was to scan the art and clean it up and color correct it in Photoshop. I set the card to be printed out in the center of a letter-sized piece of cardstock. The next step is to trim out my card and fold it by carefully lining up the corners and edges and giving the card a nice sharp fold. I hope this video inspires you to incorporate the Divine Feminine into your daily routine and that you find one or two of my suggestions helpful. I'll link to a second video with more suggestions in the description below.